I've always been a fan of puzzle games. But for the longest time, they were always just games that I would play for just a little bit, here and there, just to kind of pass some time. Then Tetris 99 came out, and I got into them a bit more... more so than before. A puzzle game I hadn't tried, though, was Luminous. And at some point or another, Luminous Remastered was on sale, and I decided, you know, now's a better time than any. Let's pick it up. And I remember falling in love with it instantly. It was different. I liked the fact that you had a beat to go to to clear blocks. It was just different and interesting. I never intended to get the platinum for this game. At the very beginning, I was getting trophies left and right, and it felt nice. But then at some point in this year, I decided I wanted to reach 50 Platinums by the end of the year. I had seen some of the games in my library already, and I'm like, this shouldn't be too bad. I had checked PSN profiles to look at the trophy list, and surprisingly, not only were there not that many owners of the game, there weren't that many people who had the Platinum. So in some ways, it kind of inspired me to go for it. And again, I already had a decent amount of trophies in the beginning, so I'm like, well, how hard could it be? Well, in order to do it, I knew I had to get better at the game. One of the modes, the basic challenge, I was unable to finish it. It's a mode that takes some time even for a skilled player. I've seen one of the better runs of the basic challenge done in just under 27 minutes. Again, I couldn't even beat it. So I knew it was going to take me some time. Eventually, I had to look to some of the pros and see what they were doing. Uh, one of the key strats that I had noticed is a lot of people will focus on one color at a time. Let's say they'll clear the white blocks and then have all the red blocks drop into place after that. And once I had figured that out, it was a bit easier from there. So as I was playing, I actually was doing a lot better than I ever had previously. It was going by faster, because in order to advance in basic challenge, you need to clear a certain number of blocks each time. When I did beat it, I wound up getting the speedrun trophy with it. So killed two birds with one stone there. Then there was puzzle mode. This one got challenging as time went on. Some of the first ones were pretty easy, but then very quickly it became very difficult. There were a lot of instances where you have to sort of manipulate the board and you have to get the right set of pieces in order. For example, this, this coffee mug, you have to be able to set the pieces correctly before the pieces in the middle disappear. It's tough because you can draw inspiration from other videos online, but at the same time, you have to be able to get the right pieces. Then there was the endless challenge. Now to get the trophy for this, you have to go through two rounds of it, which again, as I had been improving at the game, this became a bit easier. I did fail it once when I was about, I don't know, 75% of the way. I had cleared one round. I was almost halfway through the other. Ooh, I was, I was not too happy. But luckily, I just took a break for a day, came back the next day, and was able to get it no problem. I would highly recommend if you have issues with any trophies, whether it's Luminous or something else, sometimes it is good to just take a break for a day and come back. Then, here is the one that causes people the most grief when it comes to getting the Platinum Trophy, and that is CPU mode. So the issue I have with CPU mode is, essentially it's a boss gauntlet, and you have to go through 10 rounds without dying, and you'll get the trophy. There is one trophy for just completing the mode, but there is one for not dying. That's the one that gives me trouble. I can usually get through the first four or five pretty consistently, 
it just sort of depends on your starting block set. If you have a block that will clear right away, great, you're already at an advantage. But as you get further and further along, the AI gets a lot smarter and more difficult to defeat. I would say I made it to the 10th round probably a good 12 times before I beat him finally. And even then, I don't know how I did it. It was pure luck. It gets extremely infuriating when your opponent blocks you into the corner and there's not much you can do. A lot of times that was a game over for me. Even after not playing for a good few months since I got the plat, it was still okay. It was challenging. I was able to get to rank eight or boss number eight before eventually failing, but still one of the more difficult trophies in this game. I also need to mention the challenge mode as well. It's just these fun little challenges where, let's say, you have to create three blank columns or get an all clear, only clear certain colors of blocks. It's... this won't be that difficult. I forgot about it in my script completely and added this after the fact, but also just a lot of these challenges weren't very memorable. And a lot of them, if you do get stuck, there are guides on YouTube on how to actually perform the quests, such as clear, getting it all clear with set pieces. Then once you've done everything, CPU, the basic challenge, puzzles, all that, there's the shuffle challenge. So as you play the game, you'll be unlocking skins, which are basically just different sets of levels. With the shuffle challenge, it basically will just start you off at a random skin, and then you have to play through every single one. Again, this one has a set end time too, but it's just a matter of getting all the skins and then going through the challenge. Truly not one of the worst trophies at this point. You've already had to do the basic challenge, and luckily I was able to get some of the faster skins toward the beginning of my run as my board was clear, so then I had more time to think about where I wanted to move pieces later on. All in all, this Platinum was interesting. Luminous is one of those games where it's easy and fun to play, but it's difficult to master. It felt rewarding, because when you play a puzzle game or a fighting game for that matter, you need to take a look at what you're doing in order to get better. I had to compare what I was doing to other players who had been playing much longer than I have. And I was able to just kind of see what I was doing differently and what I could improve on. It was nice to be able to optimize my combos in the way that I wanted as I got farther and farther along in my Luminous Platinum journey. Overall, I would give this Platinum an 8 out of 10 for the fun factor, as those puzzles kind of detracted from it a little bit. 8 out of 10 for difficulty. Again, if you've been playing Luminous for a long time, this certainly won't be too bad for you. But for me, this was my first time even playing a Luminous game. Thoroughly. Again, most of my time spent was on the CPU gauntlet. If you can beat that, you can pretty much do everything else in the trophy list. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this intro to my Going Platinum series. Be sure you hit the like button and subscribe. You can check out my PSN profiles and True Trophies pages down in the description. And be sure to follow my Twitch channel for when I begin to trophy hunt on stream. Once again, later days.